Hello, it's so good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And today I actually want to show you something because I have been very kindly sent um, something <laughs> that I want to show you. Let's just dive in. I wear wigs on a daily basis. This is actually a wig and um, that is because I have alopecia. But obviously it's fine for anyone to wear wigs because how fun is it to try different hairstyles and colors and lengths every day? <laughs> it's great, right? So um, for anyone who is interested, I'm going to be unboxing a wig today. It's actually going to be a, a big change for me because I chose a dark wig, whereas usually I wear blonde wigs because that is a safe option for me because it complements my complexion as long as it's a cool tone blonde. But I, I don't know, I was, I was feeling like trying something different. Um, I actually have had this darker hair color in my teen years. Uh, I used to rock a really dark brown, almost black, which did suit me because it was also a cool tone. So I'm hoping this wig will suit me just as fine. Let me just go grab it real quick. So it arrived in this adorable pink box. Oh, the tag is right here. So it's by this company called Hair Vivi. Um, they actually used to specialize in wigs for black women um, because obviously wearing wigs is more um, accepted in black culture and I think that's awesome. But because Hair Vivi wants to branch out to uh, suit Caucasian women as well, um, they introduced this line of transparent lace wigs that suit uh, lighter skin tones. So this is one of those transparent wigs and I'm really, really excited to see what it looks like. So let's just open this baby up, even though it hurts to mess up this ribbon, but what's inside is even better. All right, here we go. Ooh. Hold on, getting there. There we go. Okay, okay, they're keeping it very mysterious. So let's go for a little sneak peek. Oh, gotta get this one. Oh, cute, it's in a bag. That's great because it protects the wig and I can store it in this bag. So that's great. Oh, there's also some goodies in here. So let me just put the wig aside for now and we'll look at what else is in here. Their logo is also on these bags. It looks really cute, says Hair Baby. And this is, oh nice, it's a rat tail comb. So that's great for styling wigs or for like changing the parting on the wig. And then there's more. Oh, that's great. So this can be used to put baby hairs into place. Oh, cute. So there's some hair clips, which is nice for styling purposes. And then there's also, oh, a tweezer. That is great because if you're uh, familiar with wigs, some people like to pluck the hairlines to make it more um, realistic looking. Now, let's look at the wig. So it comes in this bag, it's beautiful. It's like a very blushy, powdery pink. And again, it says Hair Vivi on it. And oh my gosh, here she is. So like I said, it's a very dark wig. I hope it suits me. I really do because I would love to wear this. Let's put this back aside and open this baby up. Okay, so here she is. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but this is beautiful. Maybe it just has to focus a bit better. Look at that. That is silky soft. And the thing about Hair Vivi is that their wigs are actually really, really affordable. They cost like less than half of what I pay for other kinds of wigs. And they are human hair, so that's great. 
and this is the transparent HD lace I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera but I will show some close-ups later as well so this is what the lace looks like and the hairline as you can see is very um, thinned out which uh, helps to create that really realistic hairline that is amazing and the parting as well this is what it looks like on the inside let me just fold it like this so this is the hairline this is the part that sits on the forehead and then what makes these wigs amazing is the fact that they have this skin-like uh, layer right here. So that makes sure that the parting is going to show skin. Well, it's not real skin, but it looks like skin. So nobody is going to clock this wig because it looks so real. And then this is the part that goes on the back of the head, which is the part where the hair is wefted. So you can see all these different kinds of wefts. And then it also comes with this elastic band, which I am a fan of. I've had a wig before that had this elastic band and it really helps secure the wig, which is great. It's a great feeling when it's like nice and snug on your head. And then here in the back is another part that lets you adjust the size of the wig. And this is a size S, which I picked because it's 21 and a half inches, which is my size so from my hairline across the nape of your neck and then all the way back to your hairline for me that's 21 and a half inches which is an s you know what i think it's time to put this baby on let's do it like how the cool kids do it on tiktok okay That doesn't look half bad. I mean, it's a very big difference. It really needs some getting used to. Okay, I feel like I need to take up this blazer so it shows up a little better. Wow, okay, okay. So this wig has curtain bangs cut into it, but because obviously it has traveled the world and it was all crammed up in a bag, it has lost some of its styling. This is actually always the thing when you buy a new wig, you always need to style it first because right out of the box, it usually doesn't look great. Okay, this hairline is unreal. I mean, it's so real, it's unreal. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, that's great. So this is what transparent HD lace is like and as you can see I'm not wearing a wig cap I'm just wearing my own hair underneath which is also pretty dark because it's like a light brunette so it's definitely darker than the color that you see here but it doesn't show because there's this extra layer of like skin color let's see if I can do a ponytail so it looks like this hairline might work well with a ponytail Okay, so I don't like using wig glue because I don't like the feeling of it and I don't like the fact that my lace gets so dirty. But maybe, maybe just the sideburns could use some glue. But up here, I don't need any, not even when I pull it up like this. Like I could wear this in a ponytail like this. How cute! I think it's time to cut the lace because I definitely want to keep this baby. <gasps> okay, so I recommend using these kinds of nail clippers um, to get rid of the lace. And I do not trust myself to do this in the viewfinder. So I'm actually going to do it in the mirror. So I'm gonna cut this. Just when I'm wearing it, I'm just gonna go like across the hairline like that and get rid of the lace. So be right back okay i carefully cut off the excess lace and this is what the hairline looks like now i have dark hair <laughs> just like that that is the power of wigs you can just try everything without commitments no hair damage nothing you can literally match your wig to your outfit 
go with a completely different vibe whenever you want. It's amazing. I would recommend it to anyone. <laughs> and Hair Vivi is actually a great place to start because their wigs are extremely affordable, but they are human hair. So two things I do want to mention is that uh, the density in Hair Vivi wigs is pretty high. Um, all the wigs that I've seen were 180%, this one too, but honestly it doesn't feel like that. It feels so natural, which I think is great because I always opt for a, a lower density, but this, it's honestly, it's great. It's, it's amazing. I'll also show you the back so you see how it bounces and moves around. It's stunning. It's so pretty. It's human hair, so you can style it however you want. You can use heat on it, uh, but obviously do use uh, heat protectant because just like you would on your own hair, you want to you wanna protect it. And um, yeah, I'll also show you a close-up of the lace. Looks so real. I mean, really? What wig? <laughs> it's great. It's just the sideburns that could use some, um, a little bit of glue, but up here you don't need it at all. And then I'll also show you the, the parting, which looks great. So that is my review. Oh, 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 one more thing. I wanted to mention one more thing. I did notice when I looked down that there was a lot of fallouts, which, um, is quite normal in wigs, so obviously it's going to lose a few hairs. So hopefully everything is out right now and I will stop shedding because <laughs> I don't want to leave a trail wherever I go. But then again, there is enough hair on here to, uh, to make up for it. So I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, if you are interested in Hair Vivi or specifically in this wig, I will link it down below. I think this one was called Victoria Shag, but I'm not sure. I'll link everything down below. And um, if you have any questions about wigs or whatever, you know what to do. Leave them down below and I will get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Bye.